Hey y'all, it's Nick from 3-2-Pitch. Welcome to Mets Week Day 4. It is currently Thursday. And only got two more days. This one and then tomorrow. So I'm covering one of today, one of the bigger kind of one move that I think will guarantee the Mets a World Series spot. And, you know, I just feel like I like talking about fantasizing moves that the Mets can make. And this big one here, I think we'll put them over the top. It isn't no help. It's just one player. But I'll give you, you know, hopefully be able to ramble on for a while to talk about why this one player will give the Mets such an impact and allow them to make the World Series. Um, so just quickly, I'm going to cover since Mets week the um, new news that c came out today. The um, Jake Marisnik got traded from the Houston Astros to the New York Mets is no center fielder that the Mets are looking for whatsoever. But he does seem to fit some criteria they're looking for in a right-handed stick, you know, defensive first. He does have some power. That's a plus. But the one part where I go wrong in this deal is, to me, he compares very well to Keon Broxton, as in power defense. However, Marisnik has had a better track record these last so many years and has played more consistently than Broxton has. So that's the good thing about it. He's set to make $3 million. He's budgeted. The Mets gave up two prospects, not even in their top 30. In my opinion, Mets, great deal. You know, you're getting a player that will help you this year, win now, on defense up the middle, where you're already lacking but with Ramos, and you can platoon him with Nito. Is it the – or Nito. You can – Nimmo. You can platoon him with Nimmo. Is it the fix in center field? No. Can you flip him? Yes. I think he'd provide great value to a team – like the Pittsburgh Pirates, they need to go out there and get Starling Marte. But, yeah, just gave up two basically young prospects, not top 30. Have shown pretty promised 302-something ERA as a left-hand pitcher. And then the other guy hit 300. He's only 19 years old. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. My thoughts, you know, great trade with the Mets. Astros, you know, you're making another logical trade, you know. Have this group of outfielders that are good competing for time. You just don't have a spot to play all of them. So getting prospects for, back for what you can in Marisnik. You were trying to trade Reddick, but Marisnik is well enough. Saving money, getting prospects, all good. If you're the Houston Astros, New York Mets, great move. Is it a deal breaker? Push it that this move makes the Mets serious contenders? No. Does it improve them? Yes. Do I think Marisnik will turn into J.D. Davis? Yes. I do think Marisnik will figure out how to hit for an average and hit for power. I think he is going to be a great player for the Mets if they don't trade him and flip him for like another center fielder. I do see a J.D. Davis 2.0 incoming. So that's my thoughts on that trade. And now we'll get into this one move that I can see the Mets making to push them into the 2020 World Series. Yes, I was joking about this. They already did make a move to push them into the 2020 World Series, and that is Mr. Steve Cohen buying 80% of the Mets. Not official yet. Still waiting for that. There's a deal in progress. But until that happens, the Mets are not World Series teams. Until the money comes out, I know that they, you know, the Will Pawns may not want to spend money, but, you know, they're still going to try to not spend money. But honestly, they still can, the Mets can still go out there with Cohen's money and Cohen can override saying, hey, we're doing this. You know, I'll pay the money for a good team so yeah not not that move but the one move i think that the mets will make considering they have money now and even if they traded for you know prospects is i think the one move is the new york mets going out and making a splash in free agency signing left-hand pitcher madison bumgarner now yes is this ideal for the mets Probably not. They're not looking to add another ace to their staff by any means. This will cost them a draft pick and compensation, which is a downfall, but they did take one from Philadelphia. So basically you're exchanging Philly's pick for, you know, Madison Bumgarner in a way. Bumgarner in 2019, 2.8 war, went 99, 3.9 ERA, 207 innings pitched, and two-thirds inning. And struck out 203, 1.12 whip. Bumgarner is a workhorse, will strike out consistently 200 each season he goes out there. 
you know, has about one strikeout an inning. So throughout his career, Bumgarner, very reliable. And oh, the postseason. Oh, like, oh, if you just, if you look at his postseason, you know, pitching, let's see here. In 2014, he had against the Royals, he had a point. 4-3 ERA in 21 innings in the World Series. Like, is that just crazy? In four years, Bumgarner has pitched 102 and one-third innings pitched and has had an ERA of 2.11 in the playoffs. By far, the great in the World Series, his ERA is 0.25 in 36 innings. The greatest World Series pitcher. If you if the Mets can go out and just Brody, if you are listening. Please, Bumgarner is your solution. You get that fifth starter. You have the best rotation in baseball. You know you can rely on him. Yes, he came back from injuries this year, had a healthy season from not riding a dirt bike or getting a foul ball or a ball in play breaking your wrist or whatever. He had a healthy season. Was it as reliable? No, he has not faced this type of hitting in a couple of years. But he is a workhorse. He will eat innings. He is practically the better, the left-hand version of, better Zach Wheeler and has tons of postseason experience and is a veteran like for me this move makes tons of sense for the Mets you're getting a veteran you're getting a former ace you're getting the greatest World Series pitcher of all time like you can't get a better pitcher on the open market than this in my opinion Bumgarner has more value than Garrett Cole does this offseason will he get paid as much probably not will get paid around what Wheeler got yeah probably you know, I think Bumgarner and Wheeler were very, very comparable this last season. You know, practically the same ERA. So, just it's what what do you want left handed, and right handed, and veteran presence? So, I think from Bumgarner with his age may even be cheaper than Wheeler. So, yeah, that's the one move I think, and this just starts like a a list of you know trends upward. Bumgarner can help the young Stephen Matz. You know, he just he brings that veteran presence into this rotation that the Mets don't have if you think about it. Right now, Marcus Stroman can arguably be their veteran in their pitching rotation, even though him and DeGrom and Syndergaard and Matt's kind of all, you know, debut all together. Bumgarner debuted in 2010. He's only 30 years old, but he is that veteran starting pitcher that can commend that staff at number one, lead the team to a playoff spot, you know, be great in the postseason. You know, I mean, think about in a three-game series, you know, having to face DeGrom 1, Bumgarner 2, Syndergaard 3. Oh, then you, game 4, you have to throw out Stroman. Oh, game 5, you're back to DeGrom. You know, you can run Steven Matz out of the bullpen. You know, that just makes this rotation and pitching staff of the Mets also better. The Mets won't have a bad season again from Familia and Diaz, you know, those were the two reliable arms they brought in to pitch. They're not going to consistently put up over five ERA the rest of their tenure, tenure with the Mets. It's not going to happen. Like Their bullpen is going to be way more reliable than it was this last season. Bringing Bumgarner in and you can move Matt to the bullpen in the postseason, which is their big issue. Just so great if you're the Mets. And their offense wasn't really a struggle. Their struggle was the bullpen. They blew tons and tons of games let me try to pull up some stats for you so the mets pitching blew 27 saves had 83 quality starts you know and their era is inflated out of 4.24 and they just didn't have a good bullpen let's just put it this way it's the mets bullpen was terrible they had one of the worst bullpens in the history of baseball them and the nationals were competing for the worst bullpen and I mean, just and and then you had Mickey Calloway making some dumb decisions, to be honest, like removing pitchers like Syndergaard way too soon to Grom, you know. So it was just not a good scene for the Mets this last year. But like I said, I just think that if you just bring in someone like Bumgarner, I mean, he doesn't. He okay. If you argue about the Mets need more offense, Bumgarner is offense. Just look at him pit, hitting baseballs like he hits tanks. So Bumgarner can hit. Don't give me that. He is an upgrade to their offense, too, if you think about it. So, yeah, you know, just I just think Bumgarner, great pickup by the Mets. You know, he is their fix to win the World Series. 
getting that extra starting pitcher that you know will be reliable and dominant in the postseason just puts the Mets over the top. Just, I can't imagine a scenario if the Mets get Bumgarner where they don't make other moves with it that will improve this team to make them over, like to give them the best chance of winning the World Series. If you think about it, Mets currently arguably have the best rotation in baseball. What well, you're giving the Washington, they, they lost Strasburg. They're going to lose Strasburg, most likely. I mean, what, the Indians? You know, Kluber was out this last year, so you can't tell me how reliable uh, he's going to be. Carrasco was uh, on the IL most of the season. You know, you, you just can't argue that a team, I mean, the Dodgers maybe. But, I mean, come to the postseason, the Dodgers pitchers just don't pitch well, right? So, yeah, I just think Bumgarner, greatest move all time if you're the New York Mets. You know, pay him about... You know, four years, you know, close to $80 million, maybe a little less than that. Great year, or great move by the Mets if I'm Brent Van Wagen and Van Wagen needs to go out there and make this move. Yeah, I just think it just it's a match made, you know. Perfect sense to me, at least, as a Mets fan, and a move that I would highly consider making, just making that pitching rotation top of the line. You know you're, you have the best staff in baseball. Now just, you know, make small moves here and there. Who knows? They can sign Bumgarner. They can trade Familia and Lowry and Dom Smith, perhaps even J.D. Davis or uh, Marisnik for a Josh Hader. And now you replace Familia with Hader. And you have Bumgarner. You had two great lefties. And then, oh, wait, you can go out and trade some pro prospects for Starling Marte. Oh, now look, you make three moves at the minimum. You know, the, yeah, they're big moves. But even if you make two of those, say you met, you don't go Bumgarner. You get Marte and Archer and get Hart Hater. You know, just that team, you can't compete with a team like that. The Mets just, they, they need this one big arm in the bullpen or the starting rotation to put them over the top. You know, keep Gesellman and Lugo out there. They're going to be super reliable for you. They've proven it. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think if the Mets get Bumgarner in the comment section below. Um, YouTube recommends that you watch a video right here, as well as my most recent uploads right here. Click right here to subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.